What is going on, everyone? Thanks for coming by today. Kind of a sad day. <laughs> yes, it's kind of a double-edged sword. Yep. Um, we've got cool stuff coming up, but yep. yes, we are putting away the 16-foot stump jumper for the winter time. Yeah, the dogfish hunt boat. <sighs> Perfect dogfish boat. Oh, I miss doggies. Yep, yep. Uh, it's going to be a few months before we start taking, uh, targeting those. For those of you that were asking about our riverboat, we have ourselves a 16-foot 1986 modified V John boat. Um, bought this off of Craigslist in Missouri, uh, or St. Louis actually, and this is what we have. This is, we got uh, real basic, it's pretty janky, but it's pretty nice at the same time. This is pretty much as sweet as it gets as far as exploring small waters. We have got a nice open cockpit for fishing, got a front deck, got a beautiful rear deck, steering wheel, and to coin John's phrase, this is the river slow. The river slow boat. And check this out. Here's the coolest thing about this rig. If I can get through all the assault sticks here, we've got ourselves a jet drive. That is right. This sucks the water in, spits it out, allows you to run over super shallow rocks, uh, we don't have to worry about hitting stuff. I kind of like that. So there you have it. This is the stump jumper. We will not be in this, unfortunately, for a long time. Moving on to the next subject of today. Well, now that the river boat is safe and sound for the winter, we've got a very special treat yep. for you today. Yep, pretty excited about this. We're taking a shop at my dad's candy shop. The candy shop isn't open, but he's still back there working today. So let's just kind of bug him today and see what he's, what he's got for us. I've got a golden ticket yeah. and we are gonna raid James J. Chocolate Shop. Entry. What's up, Dad? <laughs> what? That's why you guys done fishing? Yeah. <laughs> just putting the boat away. Yeah, all right for the year. Yeah, eh, well the river boat anyways. Yeah. The smell is unbelievable. <laughs> Look at this. Look at this. It's a Sunday. It's closed. <laughs> I let you in. You're gonna have to hold me back, Jim. <laughs> let me first introduce my dad, Jim Jarnigo. How long have you been running James J, Dad? This is my 30th year. 30th year. Wow. No you know what? kidding. <laughs> and what you know what's really exciting about this 30th year? My dad and I just started our very own YouTube channel. That's the big news. My dad will be spilling basically all of his beans. Maybe not all of them, but not all. Not all of them. All, all the trade secrets, you, you but wouldn't want to know. You right, wouldn't want that. Right, right. <laughs> but just showing the process of how to make all this homemade candy itself. We just started that, so guys, if you could please go over there and hit that subscribe button, start growing that thing, that would be appreciated. So with today's video, let's just take a look at all my dad's specialties here. Uh, it is Christmas time. Well, what's first on the agenda, well, Dad? What's... Uh, the almond butter toffee is probably the biggest seller, and uh, I make probably a batch, two batches a day of that, so. That's go, that goes like crazy. Uh, yeah, that gets broken up and uh, boxed. And then we have the fairy food here. That's another popular. Uh, a lot of people call it angel food, fairy food. Kind of a light, airy, crunchy. Like sponge candy. Yeah, that's that's some people call it sponge candy too. Yeah, yeah but it, you know, it's got a, a crunch to it. Uh, oh, can't miss oh, that. Yeah, homemade no kidding. Candy. All homemade candy cane, <laughs> cinnamon, lemon, molasses, peppermint, and spearmint. Literally handmade. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of work. Yeah. Not spit out of a machine in no, China. No, not a, not, not a chance. Wow. And all done probably in the last month or so. So Look at that. Yeah. And how do you know a true handmade candy cane? That cut right there. I you learned that it. off of your video. <laughs> Excellent. I thought so. If you want to see how these are made, we've got a video yeah. for that too on James yeah. J. Chocolate yep. video. Yep. Those were the clove pillows we did. Those were, that was good. And then we have all, all of the uh, truffles. Nut clusters, uh, we make fondant creams, cherry cordials, all the different nut clusters, um, all the different ty types of caramels, sea salt, vanilla, Himalayan uh, pink sea salt, caramels, coffee, chocolate, and then the real popular items are like the pecan turtles and the cashew turtles. And they come in these little sleeves and it's an awesome gift. We also have Fresh roasted nuts. I roast all my own nut meats, and uh, yeah, th these things are super popular. I'm having a little bit of a hard time keeping up. So. You better you better count these before yeah. we leave here. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah, I think I better. But then we have the hard candy mix. This is a great little mix of all the different hard candies that we have, and that we also have molded chocolates. Got 
Got Santa riding a motorcycle down here, Christmas trees, little nutcrackers, Santas. Got a VW up here with a tree on it. <laughs> we got, uh, Where's yeah. the musky? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe, they haven't maybe been able to find year? that mold yet. Okay, maybe yeah. next year. Uh, I know, I think that'd be fun at the shows too. <laughs> also, these are all the different boxes that we make up. Truffle boxes, caramel boxes. Uh, the popular one here is like the assortment. Uh, which is an assortment of uh, creams, meltaways, turtles, caramels, caramels. Uh, truffles. We have caramels. a truffle box, a mint meltaway box with a few decorated mints in there. And yeah, and then we got the toffee that gets boxed into, into these cartons there. So yeah, this is uh, the big time of year. For those of you that don't know, these are actually made here oh, yeah. in-house. I mean, this is old school candy. This was like what I grew up yeah. as a kid, you know? I mean, this was like the fancy stuff you only got at, <laughs> at, Christmas, at Christmas time. Yeah, exactly. Super cool. No, Just, that's wow. awesome, yeah. What are these here? Ah, I spotted something. These are the fondant mints. There's only a couple of us making it in the state that I know of, and uh, these get, uh, these are kind of like a nice soft, uh, this is a winter green, this is, I have a, First taste test. Yeah, yeah. Careful, because yeah, if, careful. if it's good, <laughs> it, they might be gone. Wow. Yeah, those are good. That's like a breath mint, but yeah, better. Yeah, it's, uh, that texture is a soft wow. and creamy. Yep. I've never had anything like that. Yeah, no, that's a, that's a nice one. We also have it dipped in dark chocolate. And there's the cinnamon. Yeah, cinnamon, too. and then I make a peppermint this time of year white. Wow, that'll get your attention. Whew, yeah, those minty, I like it. <laughs> well, that's the retail part of this um, video. Now let's go in the behind the scenes right, of how this right. stuff is kind of made. Go through the machinery. Yep, that yeah. sounds good. Let's go do it. All right, this is the chocolate area. I have uh, three enrollers, one in white, uh, one in milk chocolate. That's not running right now, and I've got the dark one running because uh, I'm going to run a little fairy food. and. Uh, Lee called it sponge candy. It could be called that. Fairy food, angel food. So that's going to get dipped into the dark chocolate. It looks just like a sponge. <laughs> it does. This is one of my favorites. <laughs> it's really awesome. Oh, yeah. 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 yeah, that, that's yeah. killing me right no, now. No, that, it's good. Yeah, I love it in dark chocolate too. Explain what this is. Yeah, this is a, a Hilliard machine. It's an automatic tempering unit. Uh, sometimes people call them in rovers. This is a, uh, a 10 inch in rover, so I can get a few more pieces through. I do have a little larger one in milk chocolate also. This automatically tempers the chocolate. So I take black chocolate, overnight it'll melt to 105. Uh, I turn it down to about, ah, about 88. Throw some chunk chocolate in. That's gonna start seeding it, it's called. So we'll bring it back to temper. So when this goes through, this piece of fairy food, it's gonna look shiny and the chocolate will be tempered. Oh, here they come. Look at them, here they come. So then this will go onto the belt and this is the cooling tunnel that will be running through. Check this out. This is a conveyor belt for liquid chocolate. I mean, what could get any better than that? Other than this right here. <laughs> so with all the beautiful candy items you guys have seen before you, this is where they leave the building. All this stuff you can get online at James J. Chocolates, and this is our shipping department here. Look at one's going to you, Lee. No way, <laughs> sweet. <laughs> What's so cool is you can get these handmade things that you know a lot of this. Yeah. The techniques you use are not done by no. hardly anybody no, anymore. No, it's exactly. it's old yep. school. Yep. Oh wow, just artisan chocolate and candy. Yeah, yeah. And you can get them in the mail. And look at that, it's, they're coming right off the oh, belt, look at the right, time. Into, right into the uh, mail room. Wow, professional. So there you have it, a little tour of James J. Chocolates where yeah. the magic happens yeah. right. here. If you guys want to check out more videos, my dad and I have started a candy making channel, so guys, Please, you know, hop over there if you're bored, want to like learn some stuff, hop over there, hit that subscribe button, yeah. and uh, enjoy some candy making oh, videos. Man. Old school candy yeah. making. Yep, yep, very old school. We just started it, so we're hoping to have many more videos 
coming up. So don't waste another second. Go on over and click subscribe and you can see how all this magical yep. stuff is done. Great. And if you guys are struggling on Christmas gift ideas, hit, go, head, <laughs> head over to James J. Chocolate Shop website. Leave that in the link below. And um, yeah, maybe get some toffee, oh. toffee, fairy food, everything that yeah. was shown today. Yep. Please grab some. <laughs> Who doesn't like sweets? Before we go, we have one more important announcement. Lee has an important list in his pocket. Yes, uh, <laughs> we're gonna be doing some meetups over the course of the winter time yeah, here. Pretty exciting. We will be attending some fishing shows where you guys can come on out, check out a muskie show, check out uh, all the- Lures, Yeah. everything. Just lots and lots of muskie people, fishing people. Whoa. What's the first one, Lee? What's the... the official meetup location will be the Chicago Muskie Expo, January 18th through 20th, and that's at the Pheasant Run Resort. Um, I don't know what actual town that is, yeah. but it's outside Chicago. We'll leave the, all the links and stuff of these shows in the description below. Next show is going to be Milwaukee Muskie Expo, and that will be February 15th through 17th at Washington County Fair. And mm -hmm. that, that's a good, that's our stop and drop. That's grounds. a good one, yes. Yep. So yep. we definitely like that one. Um, also, the next show is going to be Wisconsin Fishing Expo, formerly uh, Madison Fishing mm -hmm. Expo. And that is February 22nd through 24th at the Lion Energy Center. And Lee, what are we doing at that one? We, got uh, we actually got a seminar. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You can come on out yep. and uh, uh, we're going to talk muskies to you guys. Yep. So please come out and check that out. Yes. Uh, it'll be a good time. It'll be fun, no doubt. Uh, our seminar will be at 5 p.m. on Friday night. So then uh, we could have like an official meetup afterwards. Yeah, right, right. After the seminar, we can hang out until they kick us out of the show. Yeah, yeah. So that's, that's really up to you guys. <laughs> Uh, let's see, you got one more here, Wisconsin Muskie Expo, and that is March 1st through 3rd, and that's in Wausau at the Central Wisconsin Convention and Expo Center. So yeah. Um, yeah, so for the Northwoods guys, we will uh, be coming <laughs> yep. to your area yep. as well. Uh, the last show we'll be doing for the season is the Minnesota Muskie Expo, and that is March 8, 9, and 10 uh, yeah. at Concordia University in St. Paul. Busy, busy winter. Wow. Doing shows. Lee's going to be busy making a lot of lures. That's yeah. for sure. So, guys, hopefully you guys can meet us at one of those shows. We're doing plenty of them. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> if, you, if you can't get to us and, and there, we might be doing uh, even a little filming of the sport yep. shows a little bit. Yep. So, even if you can't make it, you're not in our neck of the woods, then you can at least see what it's like yep. at these shows. Kind of a all over the place video for you guys today, but hey. I don't know. It's gonna be kind of entertaining. <laughs> We're just about ready for some more, uh, more ice fishing here. Yep. Uh, it's cold out today and there's ice forming. So there you have it. That concludes the tour of James J and our upcoming seminars and show season here. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll catch you on the next video.